To some news that's out of this world now, President Joe Biden and NASA's Chief Bill Nelson released the debut photo from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Take a look at this photo on your screen. It's a galaxy cluster revealing the most detailed glimpse of the early universe that we've ever seen. The image shows the 4.6 billion year old galaxy cluster whose combined mass acts as a gravitational lens distorting space to greatly magnify the light coming from more distant galaxies behind it. Now, the U.S. president calling it a new window into the history of our universe. But take a listen to what NASA's chief had to say. And that light that you are seeing on one of those little specks has been traveling for over 13 billion years. And by the way, we're going back further because this is just the first image. They're going back about 13 and a half billion years. And since we know the universe is 13.8 billion years old, we're going back almost to the beginning. That is the discovery that we are making. For more on this now, let's bring in Aviv Ophir. He's a scientist at the Weizmann Institute of Science. Aviv, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us now. This galaxy cluster revealing the most detailed glimpse of the early universe. But what do discoveries like this in space mean for regular folks like us on Earth? Well, uh, this is uh, basic science. Basic science is not about finding an, an immediate application. It's, you won't see any product coming to market uh, from this knowledge anytime soon. But uh, our whole civilization is, a, is now a technological civilization which is based on advances in technology that were initially basic science. So basic science is something that will eventually bear fruit, even if we don't know exactly today how it will do that. Let's talk about the type of telescope and technology that was used here. Previously, we've had the Hubble telescope that really we didn't have images that were this clear. So what's the difference and what are we going to get from continuing advancements when it comes to space images? Well, the differences between the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope are uh, multiple. Uh, first and foremost, it has a bigger mirror. Uh, and it is optimized to see things that are far, far into the red. So things that are cooler, things that are that have longer light that has longer wavelength. Uh, James, James Webb is very, very cold, which means it, it can see things that are, in respect, also much, much colder and much more distant. This is why it, James WST, this new space telescope, uh, can see much further into, much farther into the universe because light that is emitted back then, back in the early universe, is being what is called red shifted. It is being transported. The light is being stretched to redder light, redder colors, longer wavelengths, and therefore you need a telescope that can observe longer wavelengths, like James WST, uh, JWST, and unlike Hubble Space Telescope, which cannot see those wavelengths. And very quickly, what can we expect to see from the other images that NASA is expected to release later on Tuesday, which is today? Um, what can we expect to see from them and what can we learn? Uh, the Space Telescope, JWST, includes a number of instruments. An imaging camera is only one of four or five different instruments. Therefore, NASA is expected to release five different data sets, each one demonstrating different capabilities of uh, this new space telescope, uh, a spectrum and a high resolution image and a, a long wavelength Im image, which we just saw and so on. So each one of these newly released data sets will uh, hopefully become available later today, will demonstrate the capabilities, the early capabilities of JWST of uh, this space telescope, and these capabilities will actually increase in time because we will know how to, we will get to have better knowledge, better um, acquaintance with this instrument, its quirks, mm -hmm. and therefore we'll be able to exploit it better than we currently know because right now it is just the very first image. It's not the best image. It will not be the deepest image. It is just the first one. 
so this is just a glimpse to the capabilities that this instrument will give us that are better than what was before.